Welcome back. The Rotary Calabashas are getting set for their annual fundraising concert. The group is looking to brighten smiles and raise funds through song. Get set for some Motown classics being sung by some seasoned voices from St. Lucia. December 8th at the Cultural Center from 8 p.m. is a trip down music memory lane. The activity is being put on by the Rotary Calabashas. The group comprises Rotarians and Friends of Rotary that perform nationally and internationally, raising funds for the many charity projects undertaken every year by the Rotary Club of St. Lucia. Mallet Edwards, also known as Hammer, has been a member of the Rotary Calabashas for over a decade. Being a part of the group, he says, is one of the most fulfilling things that a person can do with their time. He's urging support for the concert as it is ultimately a helping hand to the needy. Persons who over the years have been supporting those performances, they do so mainly because they know that it's for a charitable cause, a good cause, a national cause, a socio-cultural development cause, a socio-educational development cause, a socio-economic development cause. So this is exactly um, what inspires us every year to begin rehearsing around July of a given year right down to November of that same year to put on that kind of concert because we want to make sure that it is at the highest possible standard. Edwards says the business people and retirees who make up the Calabashas last took on the Motown Classics about nine years ago. This year will be the sequel and he promises it will be bigger and better. You're looking at persons um, in their fancy costumes from the 60s and 60s and 70s Afro, um, bell bottom pants, and shiny outfits, and looking rather fanciful and delightful, performing a number of Motown songs, which are still current, and uh, which also go towards showing that we still have that, uh, that appreciation in, in the 21st century for 60s and 70s music which is so wonderful. The concert will feature a tribute to the late great Aretha Franklin and solos and group performances of classics from names like Tina Turner, Stevie Wonder, Lionel Richie, Gladys Knight and the Pips, and many more. In an effort to support local artisans and in the spirit of Christmas, Handmade St. Lucia will be hosting an event dubbed a Christmas Gift Marketplace. The event, which will be held at Sandal St. Lucia Golf and Country Club on Sunday, the 2nd of December, will feature 40 local artisans and their products. The public got a preview of the artisans on Wednesday. The whole point of this event is to bring artists together, bring locals together, bring guests together from various hotels to show what we have on island, to show different dimensions of the artists and the artwork that's being produced in um, on island. So sometimes all of the artwork is showcased um, at the cruise ship port or in the vendor's arcade or in the hotel gift shops. But a lot of times our own locals don't get an opportunity enough to see and therefore enough to partake in and purchase items from the local artists. So this is what we're trying to do to create this environment so that everybody can create a marketplace and trade. One of the artisans who will be on display is Bourgeois Designs, which features stainless steel jewelry. Our pieces are very unique and um, they portray that sense of national pride, um, that sense of elegance, classy. Um, we have stainless steel pendants that are in the shape of the St. Lucian flag. We also have um, bracelets uh, with the St. Lucian colors, um, the flag colors. Um, we also have earrings um, with the 758 area code on them. So um, we figured that we were targeting St. Lucians for upcoming National Day. And and the Independence Day celebrations next year. As you know, it's our 40th anniversary. And so we thought it fit in to launch right now and introduce um, those wonderful pieces. And it's really a brand that makes a statement about your pride and your national um, culture. The event will take place from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday. Players in the tourism industry are mourning the death of one of their own, Eldon Mathray. 
Mathre, who served as Director of Tourism, was considered a major contributor to defining the destination. Speaking on his contribution to the industry was Chief Executive Officer of the St. Usha Hotel and Tourism Association, Norani Aziz. For many of us, um, these are familiar faces um, within the halls of, the, of, of the both institutions, and it is always um, a sad, a sad uh, point to note with the passing of someone who has contributed in the past um, to the defining of the destination. St. Lucia continues to grow um, as, as within the global scheme of things there are new concepts emerging every year that we have got to be so mindful of. And um, the skill sets that serve to lay the foundation for those who are sitting today um, do not go un uncelebrated and, and unappreciated. The acting director of the SLTA, Tiffany Howard, also shared her thoughts on his passing. As someone who has been in tourism for the past 27 years, um, people who know tourism people, you know, this is our life. I mean, we stay in this for the long haul. This is something that we feel very intimately. And so when any one of our members passes on, um, it's, it's very painful for us. But to his family and to his friends and to his colleagues, you know, we say our prayers and we wish them all the best in making sure that they're healthy and happy going forward. That was the acting director of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. You're watching the Hot 7 Nightly News. Up next, sports news with Tennyson Glasgow.